Well, thank you, David, uh, and thank you so much for your leadership. It's been an exciting ride. Pam, welcome to campus in Maine. Thank you so much for affirming who we are. We're very proud that you've noticed how wonderful we're doing. It's, it's just wonderful. And thank you also for affirming uh, Senator Mitchell's role in sustainability. I, I think you will find a, a rare leader like him who truly does have a passion for linking knowledge to action. And Senator, it's always a pleasure to have you on campus to celebrate that. So it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Senator George Mitchell to you. Um, I've had a wonderful opportunity to get to know him this year. Having grown up from away, uh, sometimes you get a different perspective of leaders across the country. And certainly in Maine, Senator Mitchell really requires no introduction. From someone who grew up in Southern California, you watched an individual who brought to the United States Senate an incredible quality of leadership. That leadership began in Waterville, Maine. You all know him growing up in Maine, a strong Mainer, had a very distinguished law career, federal judiciary career, before he moved into the United States Senate and served with great distinction, becoming the Senate Majority Leader, served for 15, 16 years in the United States Senate, and had a great record for environmental legislation, the American with Disabilities Act, a real compassion for linking that knowledge to action, and developed a very strong characteristic for compromise, kind of that main way. But consistent with that exemplary leadership, even post his Senate career, Senator Mitchell became very active in business and philanthropic activities. He formed the Mitchell Institute, which really does provide many Maine students with an opportunity to achieve their vision and dreams, just like he did coming out of Waterville, Maine. And that particular scholarship program is truly transforming young people going to college today. Probably one of the most recent uh, and significant impacts that Senator Mitchell has enjoyed reflects his response to the invitation of several United States presidents. In 1995, he was named the US Special Envoy to Northern Ireland by President Clinton. And in, in 2009, the US Special Envoy for Middle East Peace by President Obama. And what was the reason that he was chosen over a significant period of time, two different presidents, because of that particular quality. And if you've ever had the opportunity to read his book coming out of the Northern Ireland Peace Accords, I really would encourage you to get it. It's entitled Making Peace, and it really talks about the Good Friday Agreement. And what comes out of that book has been referred to in many ways is a wonderful triumph of patience. And in fact, one reviewer referred to it as Senator Mitchell's humility shines through. Now, it's really kind of interesting, going back to observing Senator Mitchell's career, patience and humility that's allowed him to be so successful in bridging tremendous international compromises. And it seems to be kind of the main way, doesn't it? This legacy of leadership in our leaders. It's a rare combination that Senator Mitchell has brought to us in the state of Maine, to the center, and Senator, if you'll permit me, I'm going to quote you from the 2004 uh, water conference in Augusta. Uh, 2004, you might think that might be out of date, but I think it has great timeliness, perhaps prophetic. But let me just quote to you what the Senator said to a, a, conf a conference of environmentalists and legislators and decision makers, no doubt encouraging them to link knowledge and action. There is much acrimony in this country and throughout the world today. Somehow, we must recommit to basic tenets of stewardship, cooperation, harmony, service for fellow humans, and yes, some sacrifice for the good of our common future. That's our challenge. We must make it our destiny. I think it still applies in 2012 in, in very significant ways. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome to the podium Senator George Mitchell. Well, I'm pleased to say that right here, through Maine's Sustainability Solutions Initiative, the University of Maine and collaborators around the state are trying to deal with these problems in a very real and timely way, to try to help solve pressing problems with, that have within them interconnected economic, social, and environmental factors. 
whether the issue concerns town planning, the future of Maine's forests, renewable energy development, transportation needs, water resources, and the many other challenges we face across our state. SSI is focused on helping our economy to grow, to promote thriving communities, and all the while to do it while maintaining a healthy environment. In the Eastport area, SSI researchers are collaborating with local fishermen, along with local business and non-governmental organizations, to make sure that tidal power is developed sustainably. Another team is working with municipal planners, developers, state and federal agencies, and citizen scientists to create more flexible policies for balancing economic development and environmental protection. In these and every other project, SSI will embody many of the core principles that have guided my own efforts to solve problems and improve the prospects for peace and for the future. And they, they include a belief in using the power of partnership to search for solutions. Whether as Senate Majority Leader or while working for peace and different parts of the world. I learned the importance of trying to understand the needs and the concerns of those who face these problems in their everyday lives. In a similar way, SSI faculty and students are engaging with individual citizens as well as representatives of government, business, industry, and non-governmental organizations. Accordingly, SSI has created diverse teams of faculty and scientists, students with expertise in environmental, social, and the economic develop dimensions of these problems and all of their components. And I want to commend the more than 100 SSI faculty and several hundred SSI students for their resolve, their ability to overcome obstacles, their spirit of hope balanced with pragmatism. And finally, the ethos of SSI reflects the importance of public service. SSI's faculty and students have committed themselves to a goal that is larger than each individual himself or herself, the goal of helping to create a brighter future for the people of Maine. In the process, we're nurturing a cadre of educated citizens, flexible thinkers, solutions-oriented scholars. By demonstrating how this university and other universities and colleges can help our society to chart a more sustainable path for the future, 